Hi everyone. I've got a couple of items uh, to check out here that uh, Banggood were nice enough to uh, send me for evaluation. Uh, so thank you to them for sending these. Uh, first one is this uh, JHE MCU. It's a 16 by 16, uh, 13 amp uh, all-in-one uh, flight controller ESC. As you can see here, it's about uh, $33. That's just an F4. And then uh, the other thing is this uh, Alpha RC Fee 115 V2. It's a little two and a half inch, uh, let's call it a freestyle frame. I have a little three millimeter uh, bottom plate. So let's open both of these up, and I think I'm going to combine these and use these together on a build. Maybe a little two and a half inch uh, digital uh, freestyle build is my idea at the moment. Okay, so here's everything that comes with the little JHE MCU 16 by 16 uh, 13 amp. So I think yeah, it looks pretty good to me. And I got a bunch of connections here, I think, for the. Uh, various receiver connections and I think the video connections are up there. I think I'm going to try to make a little digital build out of this so I won't be using all of this stuff but I think there's enough on here to use uh, so I can use Crossfire and uh, digital connection. I'll have to check about the uh, voltage on these pads. I might have to wire the uh, Vista directly to the uh, battery voltage but that's no issue. I've done that before. And then so it comes with a couple of wires, XT30 and a little capacitor. And one thing you notice though, it doesn't seem to have any little mounting gummies, and these are M3 size holes, and I doubt you're going to use M3 size screws to mount this, so I think they expect you to use gummies. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't include any, which is kind of a bummer. Uh, thankfully, over time, I've collected quite a few. I have some in here, so I'll have to use, uh, I have some that I can use, but uh, if you're interested in this, be aware, it doesn't come with any mounting gummies. So let's open up this bag of goodies and see it rubberized Velcro strap. Oh, with a little logo. So here's the bottom plate. We'll look at that in a second. Looks like antenna tubes. Here's the top plate. I think the top plate is two millimeters. Bottom plate is a nice thick three millimeters, which should be plenty for a little two and a half inch build. I just got a little bit here that's uh, routed out in the top. That's nice detail there. And then it's the inside the bag. Looks like you've got the camera mount stuff, the standoffs. Looks like a battery pad. And I think they even have some little, um, yeah, little uh, motor protectors or little arm protectors. So. A little uh, textured battery pad there, so the camera mount, standoffs, and here's the pretty robust looking antenna mount, and standoffs and screws, so it looks like it doesn't have anything for the uh, flight controller mounting hardware, you'll have to supply that. Noticed a couple of things here, one thing, uh, so you notice the uh, edges are chamfered, which is pretty nice, but the edges that aren't chamfered are actually um, a little bit rough, I'm not sure if you can tell, so I might need to... Uh, sand the edges here. I think I might sand those down a little bit. I can feel that they're rough. You might even get a little bit of carbon coming off of there, so yeah, you might need to clean the edges up. Alright, here's the uh, finished build of the little Alpha RC Phi 115 uh, frame and the uh, JHE MCU 16 by 16 all-in-one, the 13 amp uh, back there. Pretty cool design, I think, and uh, nice and strong. This 3 millimeter bottom plate should be plenty strong enough for uh, this size, and um, it's got these uh, nice motor protection uh, points on the end, and also I like these little 3D printed parts that they included to protect the end, protect the bottoms there, little landing pads. It's kind of nice. And while we're here looking at the bottom, it's a nice uh, layout, although I wish there was a 16 by 16 mounting in the front. There isn't. There's just 16 by 16 in the middle and in the back, and then 20 by 20 and also a whoop size in the middle. So that's a pretty versatile layout, and you can fit a digital system like a Vista in here, as you can see, pretty easily. And there's plenty of room. I have my Vista decased, but uh, you wouldn't have to decase it to fit in here. Pretty, it'd fit pretty easily without with the case on it still. And there's the little 16 by 16. Got room for a 20 by 20. And like I mentioned, if you use a whoop board in the middle, you would have to stack the try to stack the Vista on top, and then you'd have to decase it. I think they did include a battery strap. I'm not using it right now, just so it's a little bit easier to show. But they have this battery pad as well. So yeah, overall it's a good uh, sturdy frame, and I think both the frame. And the uh, flight controller are pretty good, inexpensive options. Uh, both a little bit rough around the edges, uh, literally. In the case of the frame, I did have to sand these uh, uh, non-chamfered edges. They were a little bit uh, rough. And then on the uh, little flight controller, uh, these pads are really quite close together. And none of them are labeled, so you have to really uh, carefully reference the uh, diagram and the manual to make sure you're soldering everything in the right place. So not the easiest things to deal with, but they're both, like I said, inexpensive. And if you know uh, what you're looking for, they should uh, suit your purposes, I think. So thanks again to Banggood for sending these. And in fact, they also included a uh, little 10% off coupons for these if you're uh, interested in getting them. Um, they're not affiliate links. I'm not making money with them, but uh, I think it'll make the person happy that uh, sent me this stuff if people want to buy it. So yeah, it's a quick look at the uh, Alpha 
RC V115 frame and the uh, JHE MCU 16mm uh, 13 amp all in one. And I'll just leave you with the uh, quick flight I had with this today. Nothing exciting, of course, uh, just my usual stuff. But uh, this did work on a uh, 3S 520, just flew for about three minutes. So uh, not the most efficient setup, but I was just testing out the frame and the uh, flight controller, and both seemed to work as advertised. So anyway, I'll leave you with that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.